Good morning, everyone. Hello, and um, welcome. Welcome to Jerusalem. Welcome to the National Library of Israel. Welcome to this very special event. I'm so grateful to see all of you here and wish us a successful conference, all dedicated to web archiving and digital cultural heritage. Uh, a couple of technical uh, remarks um, for the audience. Um, please be advised that the conference is recorded or taped. Um, I hope that's okay with you. And there's a hashtag for the conference, um, WebArc, uh, sorry, NLI WebArc with H in the end. Um, I would like to invite Mr. Oren Weinberg, CEO of the National Library of Israel, to deliver his welcoming remarks. Good morning, everybody, and uh, welcome to Jerusalem. We are very pleased that you all could join us in, the, in this conference, the, fir the first uh, of its kind in Israel. Special thanks to you, Anat Ben David, um, from the Open University, for your vision and partnership. Uh, I know that uh, we discussed uh, earlier that not everything was smooth, but uh, hopefully in the future it will be better. So, it's as we do a lot of partnership, even know that there are obstacles on the way, but I think that uh, uh, the project is too important and we, we should invest more in that. Um, also, thank you, Milka, uh, for organizing this conference, uh, and Aviva, Aviva Zoller. Well, she's still she's there dealing with all the logistics, and to the digital team that uh, work on the exhibition uh, of uh, Israeli internet sites. Uh, as some of you may be aware, the National Library of Israel uh, serves as the collective memory of the Jewish people worldwide, and Israel. Israelis of all backgrounds and faiths. We are responsible for collecting, preserving, and opening access to the cultures of the Jewish people, the state of Israel, the land of Israel, its people, and the regime across uh, the ages. While the library is more than 125 years old, our vision, mission, and activities have changed greatly over the past decade. We remain Israel preeminent research library, yet we now work to encourage diverse audiences in Israel and throughout the world to engage with our treasures through meaningful and innovative educational culture and digital initiatives. Our new home, currently being built next to the Knesset, will open in just a few years. It will reflect the central values of democratization, knowledge, and opening our collections and resources to as broad and diverse uh, an audience as possible. It will house exhibitions and cultural and education programming in a secure, sustainable, and state-of-the-art environment. As a national library for both the State of Israel and the Jewish people, part of our mission is to preserve and open access to both the Israeli and the Jewish internets. Capturing the digital world of one country or one language would be difficult enough. Our job is even more complex. We must define and document the Internet of Israel in all of its diversity, as well as the entire Jewish people, who speaks almost every language and around in almost every corner of the world. This is the center of the challenge we face in working to preserve the digital cultural heritage of Israel and the Jewish people. We look forward to hearing you, your ideas and input, and learning from your experience and expertise. The web is the history of tomorrow, and so it, it asks of the utmost importance that we work for, together to better understand how to preserve and make it accessible for generations to come. I must say that we started um, archiving the Israeli net in 2012, 2013, and uh, uh, as we and we also acquired the history of the Israeli archiving from the Internet Archive, uh, and I, I can only say that uh, this was the easiest part. But the most complex part is to see how we can make it accessible, uh, not only in the future but now. And the quantity 
of the material, the quality is so complex that I must say that there are more challenges than answers today. Um, we are also tackling the, the accessibility pro, uh, challenges with the Ministry of Justice. I was hoping that we would announce today that uh, uh, the Ministry has signed a regulation to make it uh, available, but uh, things takes more time than we anticipated. We started this process in 2012, so it's only five years, six years. But it's almost being finished, and uh, when it is finished, we, we certainly can make it uh, much more open and used by researchers as uh, the main target audiences, but also in the future, we hope to see uh, other audiences uh, interested in the material. Uh, thank you all once again for joining us. I hope that this is going to be an interesting conference. Uh, I wish you a pleasant stay. Thank you. Thank you, Oren. Um, I would like to invite Professor Oren Sofer, Dean of uh, Development and Educational Technology and co-founder of uh, OMILAB to deliver his welcoming remarks. Dear guests, friends, and colleagues, on behalf of the Open University of Israel, I'm delighted to open the first conference of web archiving in Israel. The Open University is a distance learning institution. As such, yeah, as such, the internet is largely embodied in its academic instruction. We offer about 270 fully online courses with about 3,500 online synchronic lectures, with about 13,000 students enrolled in them. We have a strong innovative e-learning center with eight video studios and about 50 fully timed staff. This includes coder, teachers, behavioral analysts, and more. It is therefore perhaps only natural that the Open University, along with the National Library of Israel, leads Israel's academic effort in the field of web archiving through its open media and information lab. As the distinguished speakers in this conference have taught us, the need to preserve internet content is not self-evident. It has taken time for the importance of the contents of the web to be acknowledged. This data was uh, often overlooked, and many even said it didn't deserve preservation. Many have been skeptical or even uh, about the possibility of web archiving, given the technical difficulties involved. But it seems that the greatest barrier to overcome was the axiom that the web is a self-preserving medium. That is, that the digital resources will be preserved on servers. The axiom, this axiom has been refuted by practice. The internet is temporal and the web pages are available, available only for a limited period of time before they disappear. No doubt, this temporality justifies attempt to preserve the, this mat materiality. But it also raises ontological and epistemological questions. Those questions are clearer when we use alternative metaphors, perhaps. Can we archive a live uh, and evolving organism or an ongoing event? And if so, what can it, how can it be done? The challenge is to archive while, in a way, abounding the typical sense of archiving. That is the traditional objective sense. We need to move to a more liquid mode, one that is multimodal. Such, such an archiving model would be more like an event in itself and less like a data collection. As for the Israeli national context, as you know, we recently celebrated 70 years of independence. It should be noted that, the Jewish, uh, th that Jews' archiving is part of the national project. Throughout the long history of the Jewish people, they did little archiving. They remembered quite a lot, memorized a great deal, but did not archive. Jews were a minority, often alienated and persecuted. They had priorities that came before documented and preserving documents. It is symbolic that the Cairo Gniza, a wonderful collection of documents and reports, was originally a place where Jews simply dumped their written waste. 
Given the, Jew uh, the Jewish archiving is part of the national project, it is highly symbolic that we are gathered here in the National Library of Israel, which hosts not only the central archiving of the history of the Jewish people, but also the seeds of the internet archive. Finally, let me thank the UMILAB team, headed by my colleague, Anad Ben David, and the National Library for its partnership in the work of making this conference possible. Of course, I wish to thank all of you participants in what I hope will be an interesting and fruit fruitful get together. Thank you very much, all of you.